Okay, this is the part. I think we've gone live. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Do you guys see the live uh, signal in your in your Zoom screen? I do. Nice. That means we are live. The host gets a, a huge delay on the live, but good morning, everybody. Good morning, bright human beings that I love so dearly. I am um, looking at my phone here. I do like to tell you that every week so you know why I'm looking down because that's where I see you when you log on with us. And that's my favorite part of the morning is seeing everybody log on with us. So uh, welcome, welcome to Brentwood Inspired Living Center. This is our Sunday morning Facebook Live and we are, we've are we just got gotten really good at this now. There's no more delays, we're just rolling. Uh, my name is Amy Van Ling. I'm the spiritual director here at Brentwood Inspired Living Center. And we are so glad that you're joining us this morning. I am back. You can see I am back here. I'm back home. It was a marvelous trip, quite a trip, eight states in 16 days. And that's not even counting Washington because we just kind of drove through on the way to Idaho. But uh, it was such an amazing trip. So many amazing sites in our country. And But I am grateful to be home. It's always comforting to come home. Um, so there we are. We are on Facebook Live. I'm going to pull up the comments. Let me know that you're here. Give us some hearts and some thumbs up. Let us know that you can see us and hear us. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Nicole. Nicole was doing a virtual, um, was it open house yesterday? I saw the notification. That's awesome. She's a real estate agent, if you need a real estate agent. Maria's here. Good morning. Steven is here. Patricia's here. Hi, Jan. Bonnie's here. Karen's here. Good morning, Catherine. Yay, everybody's logging on. So I am here with our marvelous Michael Allen this morning. He's bringing his message. My whole heart is wide open in every direction. Perfect and true. True for him, true for us. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And we have our exceptionally talented heart dream. And their name says it all. They're a heart-centered duo, and we love you both so much. Thank you for joining us today. And our beautiful Nancy Pimentel is here with us. And I was thinking last night, Nancy, what are you, are, is your title our office manager? I was thinking, whatever it is, you're coordinator of all things behind the scenes. <laughs> and your job has not slowed down during COVID. Thank you so much for being with us. Nancy's going to bring Thank us you. our inspirational reading and our prosperity blessing this, this morning. So we are so grateful to be here. Hello, everybody. Greetings, greetings, greetings. <laughs> You're welcome, Nicole. It's fun. You know, we're all learning how to do things virtually. And I've noticed uh, you real estate agents getting really creative, too. So, yeah, worth the mention. Steven says, hello, everybody. Hello, Heart Dream. Yes, we're so glad they're here with us. So I'm going to just give it a few minutes to allow everybody some time to log on. Just another minute. Uh, we're so grateful that you're here with us. And joining us in this, this collective beauty, this moment, this beautiful moment, um, your presence here matters. It makes a difference. Uh, this is our soul food, our soul nourishment, I like to, to think of it. Uh, just for a couple of announcements, reminders, um, please send us any uh, prayer requests. We love affirmative prayer, and we love to pray over your uh, prayer requests for you or anybody you know. You can find... Um, our email on our prayer and healing page on our brentwoodilc.org website and also check out our giving back page and you'll see that each quarter we donate to a charity and this quarter we've chosen the Interface Peace Project with Father Tom and it's a really fantastic organization. Also like to mention the Contra Costa Food Bank. Uh, we also donate to them and they are uh, in need right now. So that might be something you would like to consider. And hello, good morning, Karen. Good morning, Gloria. Everybody is popping on. Good morning, good morning, Bonnie. Bonnie says, hi, I'm really glad Michael's our speaker. I am too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So remember that we have supportive, informative, transformative weekly small groups going on. I encourage everyone to get involved. Those Zoom links are right on our website. They are on our small uh, discussion group page. So you can click right into those groups uh, whenever you feel like it. Hi, Pam. I'm so glad to see you here. 
And Maida, good morning, Maida. And Florence is here, which reminds me Florence would like to begin recycling again once a month. If you are willing and able to help her with some transportation once a month, please contact her or contact me and I will get you in touch with her. So nice to see you all zooming in with us or Facebooking with us live. Uh, you are sensational beings and I am so grateful for you. So I see all the numbers climbing up. So I think we'll go ahead and get started. And I'll start by opening us with our mission statement. And um, our mission statement is um, beautiful and wonderful and I love it. So if you feel into this with me, we are an open heart centered spiritual community honoring the one presence within us. We welcome all to connect, grow and expand in wisdom, compassion, and love. Yay. Good morning. <laughs> Steven says his recycling is piling up. Well, we'll have to take care of that. <laughs> Thank you for saving it. <laughs> Hi, Siggy. Good morning, Luinda. Good morning, Kathy. All right. All of our beloveds joining us. Beautiful beings of light. Thank you. Thank you for participating with us in our amazing uh, collaboration here of beauty and love and God. So Nancy has our inspirational reading this morning. I'm going to hand the screen over to you, Nancy. Okay. And Good morning. Take it away. This is a reading um, from Betsy Rippentrop, and it's called Practicing Open-Heartedness. I've been making Valentines with my daughter, Greta, who's obsessed with hearts. She's drawn to anything with hearts, heart socks, heart cereal, heart stickers, heart hair clips. Greta might be one of the most open-hearted and loving people I know, so her affinity to hearts isn't shocking. What does being open-hearted mean? When you are around someone whose heart is wide open, you immediately feel it. They're warm, non-judgmental, approachable. You can connect with them and they see and hear you. Their eyes are bright and there's an inner glow or radiance that they emit. It feels amazing and magnetic to be in their presence. All the great spiritual traditions talk about the central importance of the heart. In Chinese medicine, the heart is called the emperor and is considered the most important organ in the body. In ancient Egypt, the heart was the only organ left inside the body during mummification because the heart was thought to be the center of being. The Judo-Christian tradition teaches we should guard our heart as it is the wellspring of life. In yoga philosophy, the heart center is believed to be the seat of our true self and is called anahata, which means unstruck or unhurt. Our true self can never be hurt, damaged, or destroyed, even amidst a bad breakup, a devastating loss, a long illness, a period of grief. Living a heart-centered life can be transformative on every level, not only for yourself, but for everyone in your midst. Staying connected to the unerring compass that is your heart keeps you tuned into higher wisdom, connected to more love and compassion in a state of deeper balance. People also begin to feel you differently. The electromagnetic field of our heart is 60 times stronger than our mind. So if your heart is open, people standing in line at the grocery store feel it, even if unaware. You become a healing force just simply by being, keeping your heart open. What the world needs now in the midst of these turbulent times is more people with open hearts, willing to resonate at higher levels of peace and love. No matter the current state of your heart, opening the heart is a practice, meaning it is available to anyone willing to put in the time. And the most interesting thing about an open heart is that it's not dependent on outside circumstances, it's an inside job. Some of the ways I keep practicing my heart open are loving kindness, meditation, taking five deep breaths with my right hand resting over my heart, lying in a restorative heart opener, and practicing healing the heart meditations. So here's to more love and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, Nancy. That was beautiful. Appreciate that very much. Yay. Okay, now we have Heart Dream with their first song today, Feel the Peace of Love. I'm going to hand it over to you, beautiful human beings. Thank you. Thank you. 
beautiful yay thank you i could just continue listening to that on and on <laughs> it's just so soothing thank you beautiful beautiful i appreciate you both okay nancy is on with our virtual prosperity time let's breathe into this moment thank you so much nancy i'm going to hand this over to you you're still muted nancy thank you Sorry, I wish I could still unmute, but I've, I've been, my power's been taken away to mute, unmute. <laughs> keep us on our toes. Yeah. This is our time to join together in celebration of abundance, knowing we are prosperous in all ways. Let us now open our hearts to the practice of giving. And even though we're not gathering in person, we remember that our community continues to thrive because of your generous generosity. We know that we all are continuing to be blessed by staying connected every day with our favorite small groups on Zoom or our connection group on our Facebook page. We believe and abide by the law of circulation knowing that as we give, we shall receive. Even though we're not physically present, we are still paying our rent, electricity, insurance, and keeping our center secure in preparation for our return. And so we come together now to contribute to keeping our center abundantly alive. We are so very grateful to be a part of our center and feel the blessings of being together and how our connection enriches our lives. We're excited to give to a source that enlivens our souls. We give thanks for the ever increasing constant flow of absolute good in our lives now. And we know that truth as we stay in the flow. I want to remind you now of three ways to contribute monthly or one-time donations to our center. Please go to our website, brentwoodinspiredlivingcenter.org and click on the home page. There you will find a link to PayPal and also a link to Zelle with clear instructions on how to give your donations through those sites using a credit card or a bank account. And you will also find the address of our center so that you can send a check directly to by the US mail. We pick up the mail frequently. And don't hesitate to call Jan if you need support. Her number is 925-813-0422. Please take time to read our prosperity updates in the weekly connection every third and fourth Wednesday of the month. There you will find last month's income and expenses. A special thank you to those who set up monthly donations and all of you continuing to give. We are so appreciative of all your gifts. We thank you again for remembering your love offerings for our weekly small groups and our Sunday workshops. And now we say together, we accept our good and our greater good. And so it is.
And so it is. Thank you so much, Nancy. Yes, and I think it was last week that our prosperity update went out. So if you have any questions about that, email me or call Jan. Thank you, Jan, for sticking your phone number in there. We appreciate you. Any questions about any of it, the, the update or how to, to get onto Zelle or PayPal or any of that. So thank you so very much for that uh, prosperity blessing. I appreciate that, Nancy. And now we have our second song of the morning from Heart Dream Raindrops Fall in a Clear Crystal Bowl. Handing it over. Thank you both.
Oh, that was so beautiful. Thank you so much. Every chord harmonizes my soul. I love that. I'm holding that today. Wow. Heart Dream is amazing. We have lots of comments here. I love your music, Stephen Mirabai. Thank you so much. Beautiful to have Heart Dream with us. Everyone's sending love. So if you would like to hear more and know more about Heart Dream and their music, visit their website. It's heartdream.com. And you can listen to music there. You can purchase CDs, thumb drives, and I think digital, digital downloads too. So they've got it all. Check them out. Beautiful, wonderful beings bring such beauty through your music. Thank you. Thank you. Every chord, harmonize my soul. I appreciate that. Yay, yay. But thank you both and Nancy for joining us this morning and bringing us such good stuff, the good stuff. And we appreciate and love you. And we will see you on the other side. Facebook Live. Love you all. Goodbye, goodbye. So I am absolutely delighted that Michael J. Allen is back with us. Divine, dynamic, individual, undivided, one with God, who radiates magnificence of spirit. Thank you, my friend, my beloved. We are always elated to have you with us. Elated, over the top. Ah, so, um, Pray in with me, pray in with me, would you? So we take an intentional breath of love and gratitude and thanks for everything like Mirabai and Steve's song. Let our hearts just open and our bodies soften. We are grateful to be here together, to join together in this moment. Thankful for the unique expression of the divine that we each are affirming that we are one with the power and the presence of God. We have the eyes that see beyond the circumstances, beyond the conditions that seem real in the moment. We tune in to the higher place. We release fear, self-doubt, anything that does not serve our highest and best. We join together in love and we align now with the mind of God, the truth. We cover Michael and blessings, and we prepare, soften, open our hearts and minds for his message today. And so it is. Amen. Ashe. Namaste. I am going to share with you Michael's bio so you can get to know a little bit more about him. And then I will hand it over to our wonderful being of light. Michael J. Allen. He's a founder of One Foot Journey Coaching. He's an inspirational speaker, life coach, and development consultant. Agape licensed practitioner in a diverse spiritual community, facilitating spiritual counseling, affirmative prayer, speaking, and workshops. His vision for life is being a loving presence for the evolution of humanity. And he certainly lives up to that. You are the embodiment of that. Since 1992, following graduate school, Michael began working in social service environments, groups, homes, uh, group homes, addiction, treatment facilities, schools, and prisons. Amazing work there. Thank you. In 1998 to 2008, Michael facilitated an amazing program called Challenge Day in high schools and middle schools in the United States and in Canada, teaching young youth and school staff to become mindful of the social oppression in their school environment and how they can change. In 1996 to 2015, Michael facilitated a program he created, the incarceration of the mind while working with men, women, and juvenile teens incarcerated in county and state facilities. In 2008, One Foot Journey Coaching was created. The focus of the work is to become a master of the keys of emotional intelligence that support universal principle and law, which means this work applies to all human beings and the work is not new work. It is yours to do if you choose. Like I said, dynamic human being. Okay. I appreciate you being with us today and I'm so grateful to share you with everybody. I'm gonna, uh, hand the screen over to you. And when Michael concludes, we'll have a brief Q&A. Um, Michael does have a workshop today, so we won't have a very long Q&A, but if you have any um, questions or suggestions or comments, just pop them in the, the feed here and I will check them out and we'll get to those, but plan to meet us at the workshop at 1130 um, after the talk. So thank you. I'm handing it over. Appreciate uh, you. Uh, my pleasure. Can you hear me? <clears throat> 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good God morning. Good God morning. Thank you, Amy. Uh, wow, I didn't know I wrote that stuff about me. Uh, some great, great things to live up to, though, I must admit. Uh, I continue to set my own bar. I'm here to experience God. That's why I'm here. I'm here to experience God. And I just want you to join me today in experiencing God right now. You know, I, 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 I work to experience God so often in a day, like me knowing I am feeling God's presence, wisdom, order, balance, power in me, life. I'm feeling it. I'm not a victim of it, acting from it, but I'm feeling it. So go here with me, hand on heart. And know that there is a powerful energy inside of me and inside of you. It has this amazing intelligence. And this intelligence is in every cell of my being. Every cell of my body has this intelligence. And every cell of my body has a heart in it, a wisdom within it. Every cell, bone cell, blood cell, what I'm breathing, every cell in life, in the universe, has this encoded, imprinted intelligence, potent, powerful knowingness inside of it. It knows what to do in the universe. That's inside of you and me. It blows me away every day to realize that truth, that there's intelligence inside of you. It's in my organs and it's in my bones and muscles and it's in my heart, it's in my brain, and my mind. There's an amazing intelligence inside of me and it's inside of every human being. It's in everything in life. It's what's breathing me. It's what's talking to me, through me, as me, to you, wow. This is news, people. This is news. This is the good news. I mean, I don't know anything more epic than realizing that we are all connected to an intelligence that created the universe and created each and every one of us uniquely and individually. And we all have within us this intelligence to create along with it. Oh my goodness. I mean, that just blows me away just to think about it. Are you experiencing that? Doesn't matter what happened 10 seconds ago. It's right there inside of you, like it's inside of me right now, wanting to be alive and be in joy and excitement and be in creation. I wanna invite everybody to take the time to like feel that. Describe it the way you describe it. You're alive, you're in this body. And this body is an amazing intelligence. It's amazing what this body does without you thinking about it, me thinking about it, my heart. Wow. Our heart is so intelligent, it knows what to do and does it consistently, automatically, all the time. If it didn't, you would not hear my voice. You would only hear my memory. You know what I'm saying? What a powerful thing to be grateful for. Being in this body, being alive, and being in a body that has so much intelligence, it energetically and intelligently takes care of itself. All we gotta do is tend to it from time to time. But the more we pay attention to this beautiful temple, another way to open our love to ourselves is to take care of this body that understands how to take care of itself. But no neglect of this beautiful skin and the beating of your heart and the internal movement of your blood and how things move in your body. No more neglect, love your body. Open your heart to love your body. No more judgment, no more criticism of this body temple. Let it be the place where you live, the environment you are in complete control of. You have dominion over this body, love it unconditionally, no longer judge it. It knows how to keep alive as best it can. It's intelligent.
no longer. No longer is it appropriate to forget that in every moment of your life, there is a, a life force coming into your breath, breathing into your body, igniting everything within it. That's so amazing. That's an intelligent, powerful presence coming into your body, an invisible energy coming into your body to keep you alive called the breath, air. That's amazing. My heart's excited about that. My heart is open to that. I'm, I'm alive to that. That's amazing. I don't have to think about it. It happens. Let us be grateful for this body. Let us be grateful for the surrounding atmosphere, the environments that we put ourselves in, move into, move out of, live in, play in, work in. Let us be grateful for the external environment as well, how we've surrounded ourselves and we can always change it. There is peace in the heart. Peace lives in our heart. And one of the most divine ways to experience God is to go into your heart. Take the journey into your own heart. Love your heart like it's the greatest doorway to wisdom, because it is. There is so much wisdom in our heart, but we have to go into the heart. We can't stand outside here waiting on information to come to us. We must have the courage to let go of all circumstance, conditions, all judgment, all criticism of this thing called life. Let it all go. Walk into your heart pure of mind, pure of thought, no judgments of who you are, but walk into the wisdom of your heart, the opening of your heart, the power of love, unconditionally. Our heart has this incredible atmosphere around it. It has this energy that comes at it from the front. I say, open your heart in the front. Life comes at us in the front. Open your heart. There's wisdom in your heart for what comes at you. Let the peace in your heart guide you to be awake when life is coming in the front and you can turn on your love. Be awake, open your heart in the front and allow your awareness to bring you to the right side of your heart and open your heart to the right because life comes at you from the right. The world comes at you from the right. This is a, this is a holographic experience. It isn't just in front of you. Things are happening to the right of you. Open your heart to the right and receive it in response to life, not in reaction, in response. Wisdom in the heart to the right. And remember, there are things that follow you. There are things that are on your back. There are things that you throw on your back. Over and over again, we throw stuff back there because we don't want to look at it. But everything that's incomplete in our life that we throw back there or we turn our back on, it just follows us. So I invite you to open your heart in the back and be careful because it's a lot of stuff back there and it could freak you out when you open your heart and let all your junk roll into your heart. You might think your heart can't handle it, but you're throwing it back there because you don't believe your heart can. And you think if you don't see it, you don't have to deal with it. So open your heart in the back. Got to deal with what's behind you. So you don't have to keep looking through your rear view mirror. Love comes from the front of us and it comes from the right of us and it comes right from the back of us. It goes right through us and it'll tackle anything behind us. But we don't direct love in the directions of those things that challenge us. We go right to our mind and we forget the heart. Things come at us from the left and you know, life starts to come at us from the left. Call it what you will. It's coming from the left as well. Are you awake? to how life comes at you. 
from the left? Are you reacting? Have you released your internal love so that you can respond to life in that direction? Or did it kick you into self-pity or martyrhood or some judgment of yourself? Because you don't feel loving enough to catch the love or catch the world or to relate to the world. Open your heart with trust and faith. You don't have all the answers until you have the experience because you don't have to deal with everything all at once. You know, we got to ground this thing called life, this love that's moving inside of us, this intelligent love and the things in the world that cause us to pay attention to love. We got to ground ourselves in that. So I invite you to open your heart at the bottom and send a cord of light through you that anchors your love to the planet, keeps you grounded in knowing that love will prevail no matter what I face on the journey. It will prevail because that's all I'm focused on. But you got to remember, there's a trap door sometimes to our own love. We throw ourselves under the bus. So you got to send love down below you, ground you to this thing called life in this physical body. And here's where you turn on the fireworks to the light within you. You put your full attention. You surrender everything you are to the top of your heart. And you open your heart at the top and you let love shoot through you in every direction, like the greatest expression of life as you. If you open your heart and you command the directions of the energy that comes from your heart, from the, from the creation itself, the wisdom of your life will be so much easier to embrace, to Understand, love is the wisdom, it's inside of you. It, you know, the truth, it, it comes from other people, but it's not yours, it's theirs. You still gotta generate your own love from your own heart in your own way, unconditionally, to really touch, to really touch your God presence. Choose unconditional love, take all conditions off what you do to yourself. Take all conditions off what you do to humanity. Let go, learn to let go. Learn to absolutely embrace that all forgiveness is you forgiving yourself for holding on to something to prevent yourself from taking responsibility for love. So forgive yourself for whatever you've held on to and challenge yourself to be a loving presence, to be so focused on love that it comes at you in all those directions and it feeds this open heart you have and you become more and more of who you truly are. Stepping into a vibration of unconditional love is work, but it's all inner work. Because life is outside of you and it's being itself and life is inside of you waiting on you to be yourself. You can't be who you are in the world, caught up in the world. You gotta. Learn to be who you are by being caught up in the truth of who you are. You are a wise, amazing heart. You're living in an incredible body temple to eliminate all judgment and consider, con, con, criticism of yourself and to know that you are created by an intelligence and love and to live there, dwell there. Oh, my friend Raina says dwell in it just makes me want to cry when she says dwell, because that means sit in the well of truth to me. That means sit in the truth of your being. Don't go anywhere, but dwell on the truth of who you are. You are a loving presence. You are a dynamic creation of intelligence. You are unique and complete, and you have everything you absolutely can even fathom as a desire already inside of you. So let's turn it on. Let's, let's choose to practice everything we can to experience God in every moment that God is experiencing being itself as us. Can you imagine being in the consciousness of source, of life, of the universe, of, of creation with every breath you have? That's why meditation is so amazing. If we just stay with the breath and love the breath, and seek the breath and allow the breath and embrace the breath and don't judge the breath, be with the breath. 
We're in life. We're in love. We're in creation. Life is so good. Life is so good. God created this universe and everything in it is amazing. Everything, everything from the idea to all physical form in this universe is amazing. You and I are uniquely created by God. There's nobody on the, on the planet like you. There's nobody on the planet like me. We're Rembrandts. We're Picassos. We're one of a kind. God knew exactly what God was doing when he created you exactly as you and as me. Perfectly. This is not a problem. It's a great experience. It's a celebration and an explosion to know that you're a unique creation of God. So go be that unique creation. Detach from the world, attach to your inner heart, your inner being, your soul, and go, grow, you. Go grow you with no judgment, no criticism, just the joy of a child within you that just is excited about life. It's that simple. It's not complicated. I want to play, I want to have fun, I want to be in joy, I want to have joy, 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 joy. I want to feel good, feel good, feel good, feel good. I know I can't change everything in the world. I know I got responsibilities, but God did not put me here to struggle. God put me here to enjoy my life and you too. So start with an open heart. It has facets and dimensions and wisdom and kindness and power and energy, unconditional love, is everything, accepting everything without condition. What would your life be like if you let go of all shame, blame, judgment, criticism, if you practiced on a daily basis to let go of everything that was not true about you, regardless of its impact, if it is not true, let it go. And when you let it go, turn to your heart and glow. The heart just loves, it doesn't hold your, your drama. So let your drama go so you can stay in love. That's how, that's how I stay in love. I keep letting the drama go, letting the untruths go, letting the old beliefs go, letting the beliefs that don't serve me go, letting go of the thoughts and the ideas that are limiting in my vibration, my frequency, let those go and come back to love, come back to love. It's in here, it's in here, it's in here. It's, it's, it's right in here, you guys. It's right in there, it's right in there. That's the metaphor for it. It's in the citadel of your being. It's in the center of your being, it never leaves you. The wisdom of love never leaves you. It's like this union of heart and soul. It's how to get into the coherence, you know, stay in love and be, a, be a, pay attention to your soul and stay in love and you know, stay with that heart open and pay attention to your soul. That's it. That's heart, mind coherence, you know, stay in love and stay connected to your soul. You know, let your soul and your love dance like a great date. You guys ever have a great date? You ever go out on a great date? You know, and you love that date. You love the way that date sounds and feels and smells and tastes and touch. You know, you just love that date. Let that date be your heart and your soul every day coming together in coherence and knowing that there is a wisdom and an intelligence, a knowing in your soul and a wisdom and an intelligence in your heart that knows exactly what to do next. And it isn't struggle, it's creating. So in the workshop, we're just gonna make such a commitment to our heart and our soul, that's it. That's the workshop, I hope you all join me and we practice this frequency, this energy, this vibration, because I know that it feels good to me every time I do it. And I'm just going to continue to do what feels good. Thanks for listening. Thank Thanks you. For, yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> we appreciate you so much, Michael. I appreciate your loving heart. Um, dwell there. Mm -hmm. Sit in the truth of who you are there dwell never really felt into it like that 
the way you said that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go grow you. Love it. Love it. You always say so many perfect little nuggets. I'm here to experience God. Amazing intelligence inside. Breathing me. This is the good news. This is the good news. Thank you for reminding us. Okay, I'm going to check in here with our feed. Hello, everybody. Yes, Nicole says, you are so amazing. Thank you, Michael. He is indeed. Karen says, you are wonderful. <laughs> I concur. This is all true. Does anybody have any questions or comments before we... Um, move on to our workshop at 11:30. that's on our zoom link which is on our homepage on our website brentwoodilc.org you'll see um, michael's picture and the facebook note and then right next to it you'll see zoom and our um and the link to that workshop um lauren says love you michael j Nancy says, so thought provoking. Thank you. Paris says, I want to listen to this over and over and over. Thank you so much, Michael J. Allen. Yes, I know this is definitely a, a listen again and again uh, talk for sure. So many beautiful reminders. I, I wrote down so many beautiful things. Open your heart. I love this direct looking at your heart and opening it all directions. Did you guys love that? Just the left, the right, top, bottom, back. I love that. So many, so much beautiful energy to, to focus on. Open the top of the heart. Yeah, love will prevail because it's what we're focusing on. True, true, true. What else here? Pat says, I have temporarily lost the ability to do thumbs up and hearts. Oh no, but sending all of them. <laughs> thank you. We appreciate them, feel them, love them. Jenny says, thank you so much. Um, Pat says, Michael, sending love. Catherine asked a question, Michael. How do you bring this message to those who reject it? Well, um, there is a unified field in the universe that connects you and I and every living thing in this universe. And we don't have to go and speak directly to every living circumstance or condition in the world, we can speak our consciousness right into the unified field because there's only one. There's only one mind and one intelligence in the universe. And we have an intention to put our attention on the love that we want in that consciousness. But we don't have to go do it directly. And we don't have to take the responsibility of trying to get people to change. I say, let them go. <laughs> they will grow if you let them go. Every person you hang on to, they don't grow. When you let them go, they grow, <laughs> right? Thank you. Right? They grow in the way they grow. I'm not saying they're all successful and they become millionaires, but they're no longer your responsibility when you let people grow the way they grow. Yeah. The grip. I mean, we, want save, we want to save everybody who's not at our level, but where they are might be some type of mystical wisdom for them to get through, to live through, to love through, to learn through, to become stronger within. I don't know. So don't hang on to who doesn't want unconditional love. In fact, let them go because you're wasting time. Right? Yeah. Everybody you're waiting on to get what you're getting, you're wasting your time. Because if they got it, you'd be going. But you stop and turn for people and want them to get what you got. And it's like, uh, I don't think you're getting it. Okay, well, you need to like bust them all. <laughs> thank you, Michael. I love you. Okay, um, Mayor Vice, thank you, Michael, for opening our hearts, our gratitude. Yes, yes, definitely open our hearts wide open in every direction. Uh, Lamenda says a soothing, <clears throat> excuse me, soothing and comforting message. I love this message. Great reminders. Yes, indeed. Karen says, love it. Sandra uh, says, we find what we look for. Thank you for helping us to look for God in each moment to recognize our innate God sense. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy, for being here. Mirabai says, infinite love. Mirabai and Steve, heart dream. Yes, we love you both. Thank you for being here. Jan says, yes, opening the heart from all directions is an amazing visual. Yes. 
Jennifer, thank you. Powerful Michael, and thank you for the reminder of grounding our precious heart so it stays embodied in divine consciousness. Yes, thank you. Beautiful reminder. Catherine says, I understand. Yes, thank you. She had the question about those who reject. Uh, Pat says, your being will speak. Yes, yes, yes. Lots of affirmations. Kathy says, I don't have the hearts and, uh, and thumbs ups either. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Uh, Luinda says, I love the part where you said, God did not put me here to struggle, but to enjoy life. Yes, I wrote that down. And I was thinking um, the song, you know, peace like a river. And then is, isn't it joy like a fountain? I told you guys earlier, I wasn't going to sing, but <laughs> I kept thinking the joy like a fountain, joy like a fountain in my heart. Oh, goodness. It's fun. Life is fun and wonderful. Thank you for that reminder too, Michael. Sheila says, Michael, when you talk, I feel higher, a higher vibration within and all around me. Thank you. Yes, indeed. He brings it for sure. Thank you for bringing it. Michael J. Allen. Bonnie says, so right. Many need more time. Uh, don't get impatient. True, true, true. Ron says, in the isolation of thoughts and judgment, I forget to come back to willingness and courage to enter into silence and meditation. I find this difficult to do so feeling alone and doing so in the context of aloneness. Silence and letting go opens the heart. Yes, glad you're here, Ron. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, everybody. We love you. We appreciate your comments and your questions and your, your love. I'm, I don't know what's going on with the hearts, but we feel it. I know Michael feels it too. We love and appreciate you. Please pop over right now. Well, I don't know what time it is, but at 1130, we'll be on our Zoom link for the workshop. It's going to be wonderful. Am I being a responsible gatekeeper of my heart? I absolutely love that title the workshop. We're going to dive in and um, I look forward to seeing you all there. If you feel nourished by our community, consider visiting our um, Ways to Give page. We greatly appreciate all contributions and I'm going to pray us out with our prayer of transformation. So just breathe into this with me. The light of God surrounds us. I am light. The love of God enfolds us. I am love. The power of God directs us. I am power. The presence of God watches over us. I am presence. Wherever we are, God is and always shall be. And we are divine. You are divine. I love you all. Thank you for joining with us in this beautiful collective vibration. It is Hi, it is so good today. It is so sweet. I just feel this essence and it's just making me feel giddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for bringing it. Thank you, all of you, for being here because we are we. And I love that. I love that. So I will see you at 1130 on the Zoom link. Join us, Michael and I, for this awesome, fantastic workshop. I look forward to it. So we will see you there. And I will see you back here 10 o'clock next Sunday. It's a date. Mwah. I love you all. Amy speaking. <laughs>